Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Finders LPT Realty. Today I'm in Harmony. If you haven't heard of Harmony, it's an up and coming neighborhood just south of Lake Nona. So today I'm gonna to be showcasing a community, a brand new gas community, south of Lake Nona as well in St. Cloud. So this floor plan is a model that's being built here in Harmony, but it's gonna be adjusted for the new community. And it's gonna have 10 foot ceilings, nine foot ceilings on the second floor and eight foot doors compared to nine foot four eight and standard doors. So that is great. You're gonna have that standard in this new community. And again, you're gonna be saving money since it's south of Lake Nona for this square footage. So if you wanna see it, again, 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for instant notifications, like this video and comment below. For now, enjoy the tour. This is a beautiful elevation. Wow, very modern with the straight line, straight roof line, very crisp white exterior, the modern sconce, paver driveway, and your modern eight foot glass door. Wow, I'm really impressed with the exterior of this home. This is your entryway for your Really great. You walk in and you see all the way through to your backyard, but you don't see any of your furniture straight through. Dark hardwood flooring leading all the way to the back. Again, trim work on this wall. Just make it super elegant. Then you have your console table. Really interior design make these models look the next level. All right in the front of the home, before we go into the main space, you'll have your first bedroom. All right, so this is important for a lot of people to have two bedrooms, your primary and a bedroom in the front. All right, so chandelier guys, this is what you do in the model, chandelier or fan. I've been asking this in my last videos and I'm loving, I really before didn't notice it as much because I guess I'm thinking about really converting some of my fans into chandeliers and there you go. My last video I also asked as well if I should open up some closets. Standard closets, I think everybody knows what standard closets look like, but I was getting uh, asked a lot to open up the closets. But let me know if you guys want me to keep doing that. Standard doors, you'll see that door right there that I passed because it really is an entrance to this. So this is your Second bath, now this is actually your first bath, besides the primary, that's shared for all this space. Okay, so this is a full bath, which is really important, not a half. Upgraded, you have the 12 by 24 tiles in the 7030. You have your white shaker style full overlay cabinets. And then you have this upgraded quartz with the rectangular undermount, brushed, three faucet brush light fixture and that's that door from the other room All right so basically you can lock it from the other side and then you have access so if you have your parents you know that don't want to go upstairs they have access directly they don't have to go into the hallway come right into this room so this is fully upgraded guys all right this is where you spend some money okay so this has the same tiles as on the floor, on the wall. So that's gonna be a higher level. So if it's a four, level four on the floor, it'll be like a level seven on the wall because it's harder to install. You have that glassless Stello, and then you have the shampoo shelf, oversized shower head. So if you don't have a rain head, that's perfect to have. Okay, console. Really gorgeous, and then the trim work. All right, so this is your 
two car garage with a kicker. Ooh, that was me. So oversized on one side, about four feet on that side, but then it's maybe a half a foot on that side. But this is the kicker. Yeah. All right. Storage. Storage in the garage. So if you want things put away, you know, lawnmower not messing up your garage, that's the perfect, perfect thing to do. Perfect thing to do. All right, stairs on the left. Open concept, gathering area, family room, kitchen. Check out this kitchen. I love it. So there's not an island, but it's an island, right? And it's an oversized kind of extension of that kitchen with the waterfall. This is gorgeous. So you have your updated quartz with the waterfall. You have your full overlay shaker style white cabinets. This is the stainless steel cast iron. Let me know your thoughts on farmer's sink. All right, so a couple of things here. This has the gourmet kitchen. Standard for this builder will be standard microwave and slide-in range. But this particular has the industrial range hood. This has the glass range hood, has the mosaic glass and fabric style backsplash. This has the electric overlay, uh, electric gas cooktop. The next community will be gas, all right, natural gas. This has the pot drawers. Upgrade, I would love, if I had to do it again, soft close. Soft close, guys. Soft close is an upgrade. You have the undermount um, lights, 42 inch shaker style wild cabinets with the upgraded crown molding. All right, so <laughs> I've been avoiding this, but you guys already saw it. There is a missing microwave and combination wall oven. That's probably because they had to use it for something else, but it's missing. It has the bump out 24 inch cabinet and that's the gourmet style. So you have to have that bump out. Sometimes you do that for a refrigerator and then this is your walk-in pantry. Crate sized, perfect size, doesn't have to be really much bigger. Your coffee station, another thing that you're gonna notice right here is that you have the glass cabinets. Those are a la carte. It's gonna cost you money for that. Then you have your upgraded KitchenAid refrigerator. That does not come. So the appliance packages that are gonna come for this new community will be Samsung. Samsung's gonna be that. Again, the hardwood, espresso hardwood floors with the white. It all offsets really well, okay? So this is what you saw kind of on the one story where you have your island and then your kitchen dining. I love how they have the triple pendants in round and then they have the chandelier with the round. It's really, really just those little subtle touches. So I did a big circle. You have your two windows right here Defining your kitchen nook, your dining space. Love this family room. Perfect size family room, a lot happening here. So you have your upgraded recessed lights. You have four here, four in the dining, and then you have your built-in speakers. You could also put a fan. You can see the pre-wire there for the fan or another light, chandelier, whatever you need. Built-ins, guys. All right, so the other model I did had a built-in and then you could put a bigger TV. So this built-in, that's the biggest TV you can do. It's gorgeous. But I feel like if you wanted to go to a bigger TV, which you probably don't need for this room, that's like a 75 or 85, 80, and it's perfect. But I love it. Like built-ins done properly, really make the space. The cabinets below, and then the shelving, and then the sconce up there. Look at those. 
These glasses are awesome. And then, oversized. Really, really pretty. And then, we didn't overlook this. You have quad sliders. They do not pocket, but they let you view the whole backyard. And this is an oversized backyard, which is very rare. So I did one like this in Lake Nona, and that lot premium was quite a bit at the time. Now it's not too much, but back then it was quite a bit. So oversized covered lanai, guys. It spans the whole width of this house. Let's do it. I believe this is a 50 foot wide home, uh, lot. It might be bigger. All right, so let's not guesstimate the size of this lot, but it feels really big. Wow, all the way back, you have the half wall there. And then travertine instead of pavers. So when you have travertine, it really brings the elegance in your backyard. And then you have this pool. So this is a lot pool, perfect size, and it has dimensions, very modern, very clean. It has the waterfall. So water features are really the things that make your pool expensive. Well, you have the travertine. So if you do pavers to travertine, that makes your pool more expensive. Water features make it more expensive. The pool liner, and then the, the liners, whether you do glass or tiles. I don't know, I like the glass, but you know that glass, um, after a while, ages in Florida and it doesn't look as good. And just to replace that, that'd be a lot. My God, this is like a football field. So look at the fence. So you have your wrought iron fence. You play football back here. Again, you have your sliders bring in your indoor living to be part of your outdoor living, but it does not fully pocket. It still gives you that effect though with the wide sliders. All right, so we did the one bedroom, the main space, and now this is primary down. Let's do this. I typically do primary last, but since this is right here, let's do this, okay? This is a great laundry room. I don't know, like laundry rooms is a thing now because the way I have my laundry room, it's coming in from the garage. It's very difficult, really, to tell you the truth. So this, upgraded. It comes with a washer and dryer. It will be Samsung, not Whirlpool. This is upgraded with the quartz, white cabinets. The uppers are always going to be an upgrade. The lowers, I have to double check to see if those are gonna be standard. And you have your linen closet back here. That was HVAC. And then a deep linen closet. Just place to put your brooms, just perfect. Let's back up a little bit here. So before we enter this great primary, perfect primary to tell you the truth, you have a king size bed, oversized side tables, transom window above. That is really great. Transom window, you have the trim work and the shelf. Oversized windows back there. Chandelier, that's a cool chandelier. You have the four recess lights and the built-in speakers. Great size primary here. Let's go to the primary closet. All right, does not disappoint, guys. Great size. I'm not sure about that light up there. Just change that out. Wire shelves, it's wire shelves. You know how much <laughs> wood shelves close. Toll Brothers will give you the wood sh stained shelves. But I know the people that want have Toll Brothers will be doing uh, California closet style over there. So love this trim work here. You have the trim work with the shelf. Just brings it to not next level, All right? Standard doors here again, but it will be eight foot doors in the other community. 
These models are really nice. Nicely upgraded. All right, so this is the primary. What you're seeing already is that you don't have the tubs. So typically some people want to have that freestanding tub. Per plan, I doubt, I don't think, I don't think that they do, but this has the frosted mocha shaker style full overlay cabinets with the white quartz. This has the rectangular undermount sink with the triple faucet, left and right in the center. Frameless glass, love that. There's a noise coming in here. Frameless glass on this particular model, that's cool. So if you don't have a rain head and you can get underneath that rain head shower, that's perfect. Large format tiles in the 7030, then you have the pebble flooring on the step down and the sh uh, shower bench. Transom window and then a regular window to let in this natural light. You also have your toilet and your toilet and your linen. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer tour because this is a bigger home. Let's go to the second floor. So I love this, all right? So it's not open rail, but it has the architectural width on the bottom. So it gives you that nice design. So it has carpet right now, has the white stairs. So this, you can upgrade to hardwood floors, white risers, or hardwood floors and hardwood risers. So it all depends. But this has the half wall up here. You could possibly upgrade it to a handrail, but this is your loft space, two windows. That is HVAC door, so I'm not gonna open it. You have your built-ins here for your office, kind of, if you wanted, or place area. This is just perfect for your gaming system. Then four bedrooms up here. A lot in this view, what upgrades are in here? I'll tell you right now. You have your built-in speakers, four recessed lights. Of course, fans don't come with the home, but that's an additional cost to you after you close. You gotta remember, if you want fans or chandelier lighting, that's, that's something that we really take for granted. When you see these models, it's like, wow, that's an extra expense. And it is, it really is. That was the HVAC on the other side, linen closet, three more bedrooms and the shared bath. I will do the bath last. And it's a great bath. This is cool. So they're using this as a hobby room. You could see that built-in, custom built-in over there in that little nook, standard closet. And you have a transom window and then your window on the right. So two windows in that room, really great. What do you think about that room? I love that craft room, six bedrooms. That's all you need. That's all you need. You could use the downstairs as an office as well. That is an office. Great size room here, chandeliers. Double chandelier. And they're so nice that chrome trim. So there's twin beds here, interior design is great. And your standard closet. And then check out this chandelier. Lots, great chandelier. Then you have that trim work again, giving you like a tray feature. Has that Sputnik chandelier, trim work, four recessed lights, and the built-in speakers. Great size room, so bright in here. You have the light gray paint. Interior design makes the room, man. Oversized mirror, the big 
drawers. And then last but not least, we're gonna go to the shared bath for this whole space. All right, so this is the shared bath. Great size bath, as you can see. It has the brushed light fixtures, oversized vanity with the double rectangular undermount sink, shaker style cabinets, full overlay with the brushed handles and poles. Then you have the 12 by 24, 70, 30 pattern. And this is nice, very clean, modern. You have the oversized large format tile in the straight pattern, very modern. And then the transom window. Toilet. And that's it. Hey guys, what do you think about this home? I really like this home. So as I said, this floor plan the space is utilized very well. So under 2,900 square feet, primary down. Um, wow, so what do you think, man? This is a great floor plan. Um, if you wanna see it, give me a call, 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. So under 2,900 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths, two car garage, just right. Really just right, especially if you wanna have the primary down and another bedroom down, Two bedrooms down, four bedrooms up, perfect floor plan. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for instant notifications, like this video and comment below. Thank you so much for joining me on the tour. Have an amazing day and I'll see you around the neighborhood.